Right everyone, welcome back to here. Right, I thought I'd do an updated video on my knife collection. So this first part will be my folding knives. And as far as I'm aware, this should be everything, apart from I've got one Swiss Army knife in a bug out bag and possibly another couple of folding knives in a bug out bag but I can't get to them. So, yeah, I'll just get down to it. And if you want any more details on any of these knives afterwards, just ask me. Just point out the time and what one you think it might be in, and I'll talk to you about it. So, down this side here are all my non-locking knives, or most of them. These are what I call my EDC knives, most of these. So, first one, this was from Gearbest. Can't remember the name of it. I don't even think they had a proper name for it, but it's a knockoff or copy of a custom knife you can get. Quite a nice little knife. I think this may have titanium scales on it as well. And that has a little flipper just there. Just one handed opening. Next one, this is my little, uh, this is a little knife I got that used to be in the shape of a mobile phone. You used to actually have a mobile phone on it, but I took it off to make it a nice little slim thing. It's just a little crappy thing, but I, you probably use this most days. So it's got about a one inch blade, a double sided nail file. and a tin opener and bottle opener. Just a cheap little thing. This one used to be a flipper, uh, not a flipper, used to be a spring assisted but I've took the spring out. It's a liner lock. I'm pretty sure that I've got this off of Scalagrim. But yeah, doesn't flip out now. Line the lock. Quite a nice little thing. It's one of those certain things I would keep as they were gifts. Yeah, there's nothing special, but he sent it to me as part of um, a package of stuff. I think it was him anyway. Yeah. Alright, now getting on to some of the San Ren moves. These I actually do EDC quite often. Most of these I won't be able to remember the full names because they're quite detailed. But yeah, this is Legal Carry Flipper. Got some tools with it uh, tin opener, bottle opener, and sharpening hook. Sharpened hook, sorry. Glass breaker down the bottom there. Yeah, very nice little knives these are, and cheap. Ten, ten quid. I'd say most of these San Renamids are probably the best, cheapest UK legal knives you can get at the minute for the price. So that's that one. This is another one of those San Renamids. Got a tool on the back, a glass breaker. The other thing is all of these San Renrys, well, the majority of them, the one I showed you in this one, they have a flipper foot, which works like a guard. I'll show you that in a second, but you can flip them out, which doesn't really matter, but that foot there then acts like a guard. So if this knife ever shuts on you, because you don't have locks, that flip foot hits your finger, stops the knife shutting on you. And again, for under 10 quid, I think that's a brilliant knife. Here's another one of the San Ranmus. Again, got the little flipper, got a tool on the bottom, but this one doesn't have the glass breaker. 
they're quite stiff so although you can flip them out they're not really designed for that the flipper foot is actually designed to be a guard yeah, really nice knives there and then one more sand run, I think these two right this is another one of the little sand run moves again legal carry slip joint got a couple of tools on the back yeah good little knives these are about as big as a Swiss Army pen knife and just as good but a lot cheaper there are all of these San Ren moves are under 10 quid this is a larger San Ren move, who's a San Ren move anyway that, I, that I've modded to make it legal carry originally this knife had a blade that was over the legal limit so I've ground it down and reshaped it to the to the length that can be legally carried but it means you get a really good size handle because that's the problem with a lot of legal carry knives they've got tiny little handles so it's got a really good decent size handle but the blade is spot on the limit it's not a difficult thing to do I would recommend getting one of these I've got a video for this and the video has a link to the original knife and it doesn't take more than 10 minutes to mod these with a very cheap bench grinder I highly recommend doing it personally this is the bastard halibut another legal carry knife but it's got a hidden lock so you see this hole up here you can take this allen key out in the back see that allen key there take that out put it in there and then it'll lock it this is a copy of a CRKT I think good little safe knife though got a finger chill there stop the blade shutting on you yeah that's a good one I do like that this is a SEMA flashlight knife so it's a multi-tool like a Swiss Army pen knife got all of the all non-locking blades it's got saws files and all that sadly this is discontinued now so it's very hard to find but it's also got on it a decent flashlight and the battery it takes is at 1850 so it's got some decent power as well I think the battery's running out on this at the minute yeah that's a good knife if you can find it but sadly I don't see it very uh, many places now next one is a true utility Swiss Army pen knife type knife with all of the things you'd imagine it would need it's got pliers, scissors uh, screwdrivers decent bit of kit this is I wouldn't say it's as good quality as a Swiss Army pen knife but it's probably one of the better cheap sort of copies a lot of the cheaper copies are total crap whereas I would say this is actually quite good you know nowhere near as good as the Swiss or the Wengers the Victoria Knox or the Wengers but well worth it so this is the Zan Max knife I got recently I would not recommend this uh, I've fixed it to a degree but then it broke even more when you buy these the ends of the bolts have fallen off and that's not just me I've noticed a lot of people have had that uh, trouble so I put my own pins in it and then the back spring broke just there so uh, blade's a bit wobbly now this is a usable knife but not worth buying, not even for the four quid that they're selling it for. 
Looks really good for four quid, doesn't it? But yeah, not worth the bother if it's just going to break because a lot of people wouldn't know how to fix it. Looks really good, but not worth the bother. So this is a little Anglo Arms knife, I think, that I was bought. Big enough about three fingers. Good little gentleman sort of knife. Legal carry. No lock. Nice wooden scales and that was a gift from my brother recently. It's a nice little knife. So the next one, I can't remember what kind of knife this is, but I think it's an Italian or Spanish knife. Originally had a much bigger blade, different shape. But I modded this to be legal carry because I don't really want slip joints that aren't legal carry. To me that's pointless. So if you're going to have a slip joint, you might as well have it legal carry. So I ground the blade down to this shape and put a put some thumb studs on. Because this is quite difficult to open. It's got such a strong back spring. Nice little knife and worth modding, I think. You can get them cheap. And once you've modded it, it's legal carry then. This is a cheap non locking knife again off of Gearbest. This one doesn't have a name, but you can buy this exact same knife, and I think it's called the Promethe or something like that. Quite a nice little knife, though. Full metal, you know, the whole thing is metal. So, should be very robust. All steel construction, I think. Maybe aluminium, but um, yeah. Good little knife really, got a lanyard all, no lock. And then lastly on that row is my only Swiss Army pen knife in this group. Because as I mentioned my other one is in my bug out bag. The other one I've got is just a three bladed one or four blade, the big blade little blade, bottle opener, tin opener. This one I think is the Huntsman. Can't beat a good Swiss Army pen knife. Kissing crane stiletto. Closest thing you can get legally in the UK to a um, flick knife. Because it's just a lock knife. That's the lock there. Press that in. That's not a button, it's just a little badge. About 50 quid, I think it was. Great little knife. Very nice knife. Right, so this is the giant trapper knife that I was sent by um, Black Forest Ghost on YouTube. Sent me a Christmas gift, and that was part of it. I absolutely love this knife. It is a uh, slip giant. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, certainly not legal carry. He did some tests on this as well, and it was um, held up really good, because he, he does some sort of punishing tests on knives, I tell you. Yeah, lovely thing this is. Very good sort of novelty knife. Really big. You can see the size of it there. Right, next one is just some crappy old uh, claw shaped thing. <laughs> Bought for about five. I did used to have two blades, but I used one of them for um, making a caram bit, I think it was. Fake Damascus shit on it. Two cursors that I sent as gifts by um, gun owner Dan. When I said one day I didn't have any Kershaws, I'd never owned a Kershaw, he sent me two. I'm very generous of him. These are flippers. A bit stiff at the minute. I'll do a little bit of a flick. 
can't remember what ones they are. Not sure. Yeah, very nice knives though. They're some of the ones I'd never get rid of. Certain knives with those gifts, I would never give them away, you know, sell them. Um, yeah. So there's the other little one. See, I really like this one. I'd like a big version of this. I don't know if they actually do a big version, but... I really like the shape of that blade. Yeah. So, this is the Magnum. This one I won as part of a competition from... Um, Groomash, I think he calls himself now. I won't tell you the original name because he was um, trying to move away from his old name. But um, Groomash, yeah. Really like this. I've always liked this because it's a bit of a. It reminds me of like a fighting knife. It's got that sort of look to it to me. It looks like it's designed for you know being used like that. Yeah, looks like a tactical sort of fighting knife to me. Next is another Magnum, very cheap plastic handled Magnum, doesn't even have uh, steel liners or anything. But it's a good little knife, lock back. I don't think you'd get a lot of heavy use out of it because it's literally plastic, but um, yeah. Plastic and rivets, nothing to come loose at least. This, I have no idea what make it is, I don't think. Um, yeah, no marks on it at all. But full metal, riveted, so nothing can come loose. Tiny little bit of blade play. But again, I've always liked this as well, it's nice. It's a sturdy knife, as I mentioned, and nothing to come loose on it, does the job. Yeah, no idea what that is though. So the next one is a, I think this is a 10 mile, 10 mile wasp I think it's called. This was a flipper, uh, sorry, this was a spring assisted as well, but not anymore. The UK are going to ban um, spring assisted possibly, or um, reclassify them to flick knives and then ban them. So I've took all the springs out of mine, just to be safe. Yeah, always wanted one of these at the time I got it. Got a very nice, stabby looking blade. And, you know, it's uh, it's got the looks of a flick knife, I think. Like a stiletto. So this is a lockback scrimshaw knife. Uh trying to see what the make was, not sure. No lockback. It's your sort of standard um buck knife kind of shape and looks. There's your lock there. Got another one of the sort of buck knife looking type knives. This one's a no non-branded one. Bit of jimping on the blade there. But this is a nice little slim one. Yeah, nice, you know, nice little thing. I like it. You see it's been used. This is one of my all-time favourite knives. I cannot remember what that wood is now. This is the second one of these I've had. I just really like, I've always liked these kind of lock knives with the finger grooves. It's just something about it. Don't know why. Always like that though. That's why you'll notice quite a few have got um, finger grooves of these kind of lock back lock knives that I've got. OK. 
cannot remember what that was, that word. Who knows? Another one of those, but a different style one. Sort of bone or horn handle. It's that same kind of knife, just different um, handle. I think it's got a bit of water damage down here. And it's spread it out a bit. Yeah, always like them. Here we've got one of the pantograph knives. Flat on the other side, though, that wouldn't make no much difference. And these, they close like that. You've never seen these before. I've got a video on these if you're interested. This is a Webley frame lock knife bought years ago. A lot of these I've had for a long time. This was a birthday present, I think. Very nice, sturdy knife. But I don't really like frame blocks that much. But very nice knife. Another birthday present here. This is the old um, Duke Duke knives. Very old French knives these are. What the Swiss Army knife, this is the sort of French version of the Swiss Army pen knife I suppose. Well it's that famous to them anyway. I'd highly recommend a Duke Duke, they're really good knives. No lock, but it, this the blade's too big to be legal carry. Um, I've got a strong back spring and a slip joint. Yeah, great little knife. This is another one of those lock knives I just showed you a second ago, but the scales have fallen off. But I'm going to redo those one day. But yeah, it's exactly the same knife as this one. Just with the scales missing. This is the Seema Copy. This is the Seema Copy of the Cold Steel Tie Light. Whatever it's called. See the size of it, very big knife. Possibly over a four inch blade. You can flip it out. And less than a tenner, although I don't know if they still sell them gear best, but if they do, well worth getting. I'm sure there's someone at seven quid. Well worth it if you want that cold steel tie light but can't afford it. Get one of these. I do love a good um, stiletto style knife as well, which I've got here. This is a smaller version of the sort of stiletto knives. This one, I don't think, no, it's too tight anyway. Great little knife. If you like the old stilettos, like I said, which I do. These are good alternatives, good legal alternatives to a flick knife if you want one. Because they don't flip out, it's just a lock knife. This is the... I've seen it called the Fat Bastard Knife. Great big bloody thing. Line the lock. Very loose at the minute. Yeah. Certainly something unusual. Here is another one of those cheap, strange knives. Used to have two blades, one here, one here, but I took the other one out to make a bear claw knife. Yeah, five quid piece of crap, really. Magnum knife here. This is one of my favourites. This was a birthday present to myself, I think, years ago. I always liked the shape of this. The only problem was the bolts come loose, the screws, and they don't ever seem to want to tighten properly. 
which was a shame. That's why I always rate the Ganzos. Uh, the Ganzos are the same quality sort of knife as this, but the Ganzos last longer. Speaking of Ganzos, here is a Ganzo. This is my indoor EDC most of the time. This is the Ganzo G729 Spydeco copy with an axis lock. The axis locks are better on these now. I think some of the old ones, the axis locks weren't very good, but they've sorted them out now. You can see this is well used. Yeah, brilliant knife this is. Nice size. Yeah. Uh, brother knife. I think this is a rough eye. Spider car a bench made. This is a brother 1601. Nice knife, I tell you. Good quality. Yeah, nice and big. That's quite cheap as well. Got the axis lock on it. This is a, another brother knife, which is a ripoff of the bird knives, whatever they are. It says bird on it. Lock back. Yeah. Good quality knife, that, for what it is. Under a tenner as well, I think, or around that. This was a gift for being part of a old Yahoo group. Uh, remember the old Yahoo group, I think they were called? Brass Knuckle Collectors Club, 2000-2010. That, I would never get rid of that. That was from Gun Owner Dan, because that was his group. Yeah, really like that. But, especially because of that. Uh, really crappy old. I won't show this long gardening knife, but it's a, it's a knife and it's in my collection. <laughs> so there it is. I may make that into something else one day. Right, this is one of the Kaiser knives that I got sent. Zip slip. Probably one of the most expensive knives I own. Well worth over 150 quid, I think. Um... A slip joint, titanium handles, stuff like that. Way too expensive to EDC in case you lose it. But um absolutely lovely knife. Yeah, would be legal carry, but uh, way too expensive for me to uh, risk losing. And then another one of the Kaisers. This one again, I think, is worth over 150 quid or more. Titanium, carbon fiber, um, you know, fancy uh, blade material, and stuff like that. But you can see the quality of it. It is a very nice knife, but um, not something I would buy just because you know, way too expensive. Frame lock with a flipper, see if I can flip it out. Yeah. Um, another expensive knife, that's probably my, these are probably my three most expensive knives for the um, folders anyway. So this is a Hatex Outdoors ZD005. Again, titanium and all that, carbon fiber. This is well over 100 quid. Very nice knife. Again, I wouldn't buy it personally, but I sent it, so... Yeah. Um, and then these last couple of ones are cheap things. This was a birthday present. I think it's a... What's that say? Crosscut. It's quite big. Uh, but not very good quality. The bolts have come loose. Now they won't tighten properly. But nice looking knife. Uh, last link one. Uh, this one and the next one. This is a San Ranmu. Non-locking with some tools. The only thing is this one has got a locking saw 
which I'm not sure if that would then make it non-legal. Is that classed as a blade? You know, it is a blade. It's a saw, isn't it? It's not a blade. But the actual blade on this doesn't lock. Although it's got a secret lock, which I found out recently. If you put the little spanner bit in there, the Allen key bit, in there, it locks it. Similar to that one I showed you. This comes with a set of uh, screwdrivers and that. It's got the glass breaker on it and the tools on the back. Quite a nice little knife. And then lastly is my um, cutthroat razor that when I got it out it was covered in bloody rust so gonna need a good clean now tidy up well, I've got some stories about this yeah good old little thing I think I bought it for two or three quid from a car boot sale when I was about 16 so about 1996 or maybe a bit older so yeah there it is that was probably quite a long video uh, I hope you made it to the end and what I'll do next then is do a video on my fixed blades and swords and machetes stuff like that if you're interested in any of these knives just message me or comment saying oh what's the knife at you know two minutes 25 uh, and I'll tell you what it is and also in the description I'll add some links to some of these because some of these I would highly recommend you getting Especially these, if you're in the UK, lots of these UK non-locking ones are really good knives for the price. Um, so I can actually link to those, and it'll be an affiliate link, so I'll get a percentage of what you spend, so you can support me that way without having to do anything. So yeah, have a look in the description, there may be some links to some of the ones. What I'll do, I'll... I'll put the time next to the link so you'll know if I if you don't know what the name of the knife is you'll know if it's the knife at 20 minutes in it'll say the name 20 minutes in you know and you'll know it's that anyway all right hope you enjoyed the video see you later right, before you leave if you ever wanted to support this channel you can now via patreon or by shopping at amazon.com and gearburst there's more info below if you need that Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell, and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.